so it's fine for everybody hopefully so let's get started with the first one of the block that was actually uh, the chairman one Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the, the perfect position for uh, for us uh, to ask any for any new features we need <laughs> right <laughs> i can't escape now <laughs> uh, well, first uh, yeah, uh, introduce uh, shortly yourself actually by uh, were you able to actually give a presentation where you think actually you were uh, selected? For, 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 for speaking here? Yeah, or? for speaking here. Uh, um, uh, because um, it's with Fury Elements, uh, um, as an ABAP developer, you can um, easily create an app and you don't need to learn JavaScript necessarily. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> 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 the best thing about of your elements <laughs> not for the excel upload huh? not for the excel upload yeah. <laughs> yeah but there are some micro tasks that can be delegated to the ui5 developers that uh, yeah. come up in the last years but most of the stuff in the um VR, with uh, front yeah. development can be done by your elements with okay. not a classical ABAP development uh, skills, but mostly with some extended yeah. ABAP mm. development skills. Okay, but, but what do we actually do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do, I do uh, yeah, great Fury elements, uh, work on the framework. Yeah. I work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's good. With the next SAP person, ask Dominic. <laughs> what are you doing for a living? I work. <laughs> you know, I'm a senior developer in the other platform, and I'm part of the Rep Runtime Engine, also known, known as Sardel Team. <clears throat> so we are yeah, the, the backbone of uh, the Rep execution. Yeah. But uh, I think also important for a lot of people out there to know is that Sardel is not only in a rub environment it's also in the old pop environment and uh, stuff like this so it's a little bit older in the tech in the history than uh rub and it's the yeah technological background to convert o data to abap if i'm right yeah oh, wonderful <laughs> <laughs> little bit more <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. This is typical developers. <laughs> Count to three, zero, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next in the talk session was actually uh, Vichaya. Yeah. I have no idea how to actually pronounce your last name. Uh, Chintalapali. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I almost guessed it the same way, but I wasn't sure about it. <laughs> uh, so the Indian name are for, for us here in, in Germany or in Europe, a little bit complicated to actually pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Different culture. So, um, what are you doing actually for a living at? Uh, where are you? And as EY, huh? EY, EY Bangalore, yeah. But you speak also German, right? Yeah, we can have Deutsch expression. English. <laughs> <laughs> so I I currently work as a technical architect for uh, one of the uh, German based engagement uh, where uh, I'm majorly working on RAP based uh, developments. Since uh, two and a half years, we started earlier on the RAP objects. Uh, even before the node and other extensions are released. That's how we explored all these bas based annotation project-based extensions. And uh, yeah, I'm also uh, enabling few customers on uh, cloud-ready uh, development, uh, taking some sessions. I'm also active part of SAP community where I give some sessions on uh, uh, Ticket and uh, SAP Insight Track. Yeah. But you're from your background also more uh, mostly focused ABAP developer, right? Yes, I, I did some UI5 coding uh, since uh, five years, but majorly I am concentrating on RAP and BTP ABAP since uh, three years. On and off, I do UI5 coding, but uh, I'm not a big fan of it. 
but uh, from your experience uh, the customer side and projects uh, how uh, good is your life with your elements instead of uh, the classical uh, ABAP development in your history with good old a ALV and so on do you uh, want to go yes. back <laughs> uh, I would like to go back because uh, the way the, the the current engagement where I'm supporting is more of uh, you know brownfield kind of. So uh, when we have to map the fury elements with the ALV based reports, say for example, I have to get the checkboxes, dynamic uh, field enablement, or uh, say for example, when I get the ALV output. There are like sorting, filtering, everything available uh, out of the box. But whereas when you come to the object page of a Fury list report, <laughs> you you hardly have uh, those because of the pagination. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if the business is not used with the uh, ALV based uh, approach, then Fury elements are the best way for the ABAP developers uh, to show a good UI. But then these kind of scenarios, uh, we tend to go with uh, UI5 based uh, validations on the selection screen where you have complex selection screens, right? In the old reports, you used to have some uh, validations, enablement of fields based on radio buttons. So in these scenarios, uh, I'm currently struggling a lot. And it's a little bit this uh, complex selection screen that we have in the old reports that are missing in the Fiori elements world for, uh, at the moment. Mm -hmm. Please take note. Okay, that's one of the biggest uh, disadvantages of uh, Fiori and O data in comparison to the old ALV world, uh, as you said, dynamic structures. So if I have an ALV that gets uh, wider and wider, depending on I want to see one week, two weeks, three weeks, mm -hmm. I can do it in so, in any in some way in the classical ABAP dynamic programming. But so, um, in um, OData, that's the only stuff that, that we are limited in the OData world. So uh, their the apps have to adapt to the usage. Back mm -hmm. to the conference topic. <laughs> Actually, uh, nothing is better than uh, ABAP, ABAP uh, no. and your elements. <laughs> no, the, the, the main point is uh, also that um, we don't have an app A that is built on SubGUI and migrated completely one-to-one -to, -one to the Fiori world. We have also to think about how to use the apps and uh, so on. Sure. For example, um, I built a long time ago uh, an app that gets yeah about 200 days and then I have 200 columns, wonderful. Um, but that's not an app that you would probably use on a mobile phone. <laughs> so yeah, with 200 columns <laughs> it's still i believe one of the most uh, used features from rap query elements and so on is actually the export to excel yes <laughs> it comes out of the box <laughs> then we have the whole circle closed and we are done actually with development mm. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful yeah so i think the 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 the, the thing is so, so i mean the lv has some i don't know 20, 30 uh, years um, had more time to 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 um, bring features. So so yeah, but but probably as so, I mean also uh, in terms of uh, so, uh, like filtering in list report and selection and so on. It's so also there we we um, um, yeah regularly um, um, check how can it be improved. So so just now we again um, explore some concepts. So there's there's more to come as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's, I see also this uh, chat message from uh, Pras uh, Prasad, um, pagination custom CDS entity. And I think that pagination custom CDS entities, yeah, would probably work. But I think they're not the best friends. Because uh, if you do some uh, um, data call from a, a third party systems or via some Barbie calls, then yeah, we have to collect every uh, data, all the data. Um, and uh, every time, and then you only give a do a filtering, and that's mm. not a very sexy way. Yeah. <laughs> so, if dynamic filters can be enabled using Fury elements, uh, that can help, like like the LVs, like the radio buttons we used to have, mm, the selections field enabled, right? Like based on the radio buttons. So, something kind of a feature will will help. Uh, life of our web developers more easier. Mm. And there, there's also one UI5 of Yori annotation 
um, for the front end that you have, um, you, well, you have a filter field and you can enter any word, but um, if you connect this to a value help, then there's an annotation that uh, only um, entries that are in the value help mm -hmm. are uh, accepted. Mm -hmm. And every time again, I have to search days for, for this annotation. <laughs> this is a you write it down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the problem is I write it down somewhere and then I have to search where I wrote it down. <laughs> Some yellow posted. Write, write it down and then talk about some blog posts. This is a really good uh, link. And then if you have the search link, you use Google to find your own blog post. Ah, okay. <laughs> or, or you bookmark the, the, the FPM Explorer. So there we have at the advanced uh, topics also a page dedicated for, for value helps with a couple of samples. Okay. I have to look again. I normally look at a okay, UI5. Okay, session for the URL. <laughs> 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 to find this kind of information. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, then, um, Dominic, uh, the, Do we, did we have any more? Box, something? Or is it yes, no? I didn't get the question, sorry. <laughs> 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 Do you still want to say something in no. the last minutes of your meet the speaker? No, don't need to. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we are actually in the short quick. We only have to switch the or short the intermission uh, slide. Then we will be back at uh, 3.45 with a talk from Olga about how to transform your legacy code using ABAP Cloud and clean ABAP. Again, we need shorter titles. <laughs> uh, this is really complicated. And at the same time, actually, we found a substitute for the uh, Eno talk. So we are now going to have uh, Andre Fischer talking about the sub generator in channel two, the next session. It's in German. So we are just switching from a German talk that we lost to a German talk we actually won. So if you are interested in the sub generator channel two, in a, what is this, in 15 minutes, German talk from Andre Fischer with a live demo, as far as I know. He's here, he's nodding. So, yes, it's a live demo. <laughs> and at the same time, we have uh, Olga talking about ABAP Cloud and Clean ABAP. So, topic wise, it's a little bit uh, unfortunate, but you can always catch. Uh, we are, we are, uh, already have a, uh, um, a title for Andre's talk. Yeah, the open source RAP generator. Uh, I would prefer that the RAP generator generator is talking about RAP generator. Shorter title. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this is in both sessions. It's a 45 minute session. And then we're also going over to the closing keynote about clouds. So it's just two more sessions, actually. And uh, I yeah, hope you still yeah. enjoy the day. And now have a short break. Go to the bathroom. There was a, a, a last question about Fiori to XLX, uh, XLSX compared to ABAP to XLSX. ABAP to XLSX is an uh, open source solution. So uh, oh, for the people who doesn't know it, since two years, there's an uh, XO library to build also Excel files yeah. uh, without uh, the need of sub GUI and uh, local Excel installation. And yeah, Fiori to XLSX. So XLS is to... Uh, uh, Fiori to XLS is, is XLS X. <laughs> is the nightmare for an ERP solution. Let <laughs> me get everything <laughs> into Excel and back and forth. Or do, do you know any, what uh, is meant by the question? Uh, no, no, no. Fiori to XLS X, I have no idea. We're going to look it up and we're going to figure it out someday. And uh, yeah. So see you in, in the, the short break that is actually getting shorter this other minute. <laughs> <laughs> so then. So thank you very much for your meet the speaker. Thank you very much for your presentation, your time. And thank you. Then we see you soon. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thank you.